guys, it's Gamer Aimer here. So today we're going to talk about this pretty sweet Commodore 64 computer, talk about some of the games for it, and how it actually works. So let's go ahead and check it out. So this is actually called the Commodore SX-64, and this is often referred to as the executive model of the Commodore 64. So this actually came out in 1984, and this was coined the world's first portable color computer. So this thing is pretty awesome, and I actually found it local to me. It was a couple hundred dollars, so you will find that the price still holds up pretty well today as when these first came out these were double the price of the original Commodore 64 and that would be said as it is a portable more so luggable computer that you would use to actually play a lot of video games with so this computer has a lot of features with it so this computer weighs around 23 pounds it's pretty heavy and it does have this nice little handle that you can go ahead and carry this portable more so luggable computer around with so that actually makes it a little bit easier but it's nothing compared to laptops and computers today where they weigh just a few pounds or less this thing is pretty clunky and pretty heavy if you're carrying it quite far and even though this thing is a portable computer you still have to have it plugged in at all times there are no battery ports for it so that is a downfall with this system as you can't just bring it anywhere and just play you have to find somewhere that has a plug where you can actually plug this in for the power and then this thing also has 64k ram with this computer and it's actually pretty neat because if we just look at this system you'll notice on top here we have this little cartridge port so you can actually take one of these game carts for the Commodore 64 and just put it right in there and it just immediately goes to the play screen so that is definitely a great option with this computer so of course I have a couple games for it I have a lot more than what's actually shown here but these are just some of the ones that I tested out this system with when I got it and I really enjoyed these games and then you'll notice that we have this right here so we actually have this keyboard for this portable computer and it actually just snaps right out with these two little buttons right here. We have this full keypad on here and then it has this little plug where you're supposed to plug this in right directly underneath here and that is one of these cables that I have and then the other one is actually the power cord which plugs right into the back of the computer. So this is definitely a pretty sweet looking computer and I can tell why they called it the executive model as this is very sleek looking. I really like the design of it and it does have a touch of color with the blue part on each side here and a blue outline on the Commodore logo. So that is definitely pretty sweet. And then you'll notice that we have this five inch screen right on the front part of this Commodore 64 and we have this little panel that opens up where you can go ahead and change some of the settings and this thing does display about 16 colors so that is pretty remarkable for this portable computer at that time. And then another pretty sweet thing is not only does it take cartridge games it actually takes these floppy disk games as well so here we actually have a couple for size so you would just put this right in the system and then of course you'd have to do some typing on here to go ahead and load the actual program of the game so just an example of course many of you guys know what the code would be so here we have this whole entire instruction guide on how to actually operate and play some of these games and then it gives you some gameplay tips on this pamphlet and this one's just for the junior pac-man game that I have which of course I have several other games but Rampage was a lot of fun I really enjoyed this Tapper game and then of course the original Pac-Man so you may be thinking how much was this computer when it first came out now this computer was just under a thousand dollars 
which actually was double the price of the original Commodore 64 when it first came out. So this was a very expensive model of the Commodore 64. And because it only has a five inch screen, this did not do as well as the original Commodore 64. And that's mostly said because of the price point and that small screen, which I did notice it was a little bit difficult at times trying to actually get a clear image of some of the more specific parts in the game and even typing on the system is a lot of the letters and numbers kind of blended together so this thing is definitely pretty sweet and it's a lot of fun in the collection but of course I've been used to a lot larger screens over the years and going down to this 5 inch screen definitely make it a little bit more challenging to play but I still really enjoyed it as it has some music and stuff with the games. These colors are just so vibrant on here and the games are just classics and they are timeless classics. So I just love playing them. So you can play with the keyboard, but you can also plug this controller right into the back. So of course I just use this one that I have in my collection. I have a few others that would actually work with it, but just made it pretty easy and pretty simple just to move with a directional joystick and then have this button on here as well. So this is now one of my prized possessions in my video game collection. I'm actually looking forward to learning a little bit more about this system and how to actually operate it. As I've only played just a few games for this system and I would love to really see what this thing can actually do so I just can't believe that I found it for such a great deal local to me and the guy was actually pretty helpful he was willing to walk me through a lot of these setups and programs in this computer and this thing is just in pretty immaculate shape for the time so usually you'd find systems like this all yellowed and have all kinds of issues with it. Usually the drives have to be replaced or repaired, but this thing was very well taken care of. It looks like it's very well cleaned and it's just a lot of fun. So I really enjoyed playing some of these classic games right here. And I would love to add even more games to my Commodore 64 collection. And this thing is just so cool where it has all of these pretty awesome connections with it. You can use the joystick, you can use the keyboard, and it was even nice of the guy to throw in this pretty awesome Commodore bag to hold all of the cables and everything for the system. So this is a lot of fun just setting up. You can just carry it. You can even use this to prop up the screen if you want it on a slight angle. So this thing is definitely pretty sweet, and I'll have to get some more gameplay of this actual computer for you guys and just let me know what games are worth trying out on the system and I'll let you know if I already have that game or if that's something that I'll have to be on the lookout when I'm searching for Commodore 64 games. So of course thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.